Hello, this is a demo on the Trading Cube scanner. Uh, what we're going to do is look at uh, how it works, uh, some of the key characteristics and so forth. Of course, you can get to it. You just come to the uh, home page. If you're um, a member, you'll have access to it. Uh, you simply scroll over, go to the Tools, Trading Cube scanner down here at the bottom. Click on that and that will bring up the scanner and so when you look at the scanner there's actually a help page you can go to the help page and read more there's some videos there including this one and uh, you can look at those sorts of things but essentially the scanner the ideal behind the scanner is to go find those trades or actually those symbols where across the various time frames and again think about the trading cube itself across the various time frames short intermediate and long term we want to be able to look at those time frames for a stock or sector for a market based on the trend which can be bullish sideways or bearish and it can be qualified if we want and based on the mean time to failure in other words how extended it is and that's a cumulative uh, rating of how far something has moved, in other words, how far in time it has moved. When you get up around 70% or so, it's usually pretty extended. When you're down around 20 or less, things brand new and has a long way to run. And so you can use that to your advantage. Now you can, like anything else in, in the tools, you can create a configuration for yourself. You go in, you make these markings the way you want them, and then you put a configuration name in and you save it. That's how you get that. If you want, once you get symbols, you can save them to a watch list. You'd put them here on the watch list and then you would save them at the bottom of the page and I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to take a configuration I already have called Momentary Weakness. If I just click on that, enter that in, uh, this this uh, actually gets busy, starts working. I'll pull this up so you can see. It's waiting on TA today, so it's out there pulling the data right now. And once it's done, it's going to show that data, and it will actually populate this with values that I've chosen previously and saved in this scenario. And momentary weakness to me is where you have a long-term trend from a bullish perspective going on, and so I'm looking at on a short term it's bearish but it's long term it's bullish it's fairly young in its life cycle on the bullish characteristics on those two time frames but on the bearish short term its mean time to failure is 40 and I'll get into this in just a second but I want to show you what it does is it first it pulls up it always gives you the overall market and it gives you all the sectors and then it gets into the stocks that meet your characteristic so we said it's bearish short term it's less than 40 on the MTTF and all of these are going to be less than 40 and then on the long term and intermediate term it's going to be bullish and we didn't qualify it we said give them all and it's less than 40 excuse me less than 30 on the long term and you can see all of those that show up and so this is a stock that evidently short term looks negative but long term looks good and if we just pick one of these um, I'm just kind of glancing down to see if there's any here that I know I'll just pick one randomly if you pull it up you can see short term it's in a bearish trend right it's trending back but if you look at it on a longer term basis this is a pretty good looking stock it's fading back into support and if we look at it out here, it's actually doing pretty well too. It's over that swing point high, made it bullish. So that's the way that the scanner works. That's how it finds stocks for you. Once it finds them, then of course, as I said, you can come in here and there's multiple ways to view this. You can select all of them, right, which will actually check the boxes for all of them so that you can show them all. And then you can show charts, which will click up a little control box here and let you just flip through them one by one. You can flip through all of them if you want to do that. The other thing you can do is you can display the selected ones, and which is the ones that we have checked. We can deselect them, we get them back down, and we can say, oh, there's only, you know, I'm only interested in this sector. I can select those, for example. And then I could display those selected ones. I could also add them to my watch list. So if I pick my watch list, and let's say I want to put them in temp. I could take those four 
add them to my watch list, it's going to add those four symbols to that watch list. And so when I do all of that, right, I have a nice compact way, as we do with all the tools, to grab things quickly, to look at them. If I click on just, you know, one of these symbols, it will pop up the three charts across all the time frames and show them to me. And also show me the trading cube on that stock. So very convenient as we have on all those trading tools, you know, to, to work your way around and to see things. That's, that's the critical stuff. So if I come back up here, of course, I could qualify this and say I only want those that are qualified in that they're um, um, bullish confirmed or say bullish uh, um, <laughs> suspect. In other words, they have volume characteristics when they break out over the high or they don't. I can also, this number, it's key here to give you the information on this number. If you choose a number that's 50 or less, it's going to give you all those symbols that have MTTF that is either 50 or less than 50. Now, if I choose a, if I choose a number like 51, 50 being the key area, at 51, it starts giving me all those symbols that are 51, excuse me, yes, 51 or greater. So if I wanted to get those that were extremely extended, I would put 70. Now I can also do that on any of the time frames. I can do it on the stock, I can do it on the sector, I can do it on the market. If I leave all trends with no MTTF, it gives me everything. And that's what we did on that first one. And so that's the way the cube works, the scanner works. Very convenient, especially for options traders. It works really well for options traders in that they can find things that are extreme or very young and use that to uh, you know, sell premium usually uh, or, or put some sort of a spread trade on with those two. So uh, that's the scanner. That's how it works. And uh, I think that's pretty much all I can tell you about it. Thanks. Take care.